Right now, a new move to stop a roundup of wild horses roaming free along the Salt River. Legal action is in the works tonight. ABC 15's Lauren Vargas is live from the Tonto National Forest. And Lauren, tomorrow, a critical day as we approach that deadline on Friday. Yeah, the group fighting for the horses to stay here will file an injunction in federal court tomorrow morning, hop, hoping to stop the Fed's plans. If that fails, any horses that aren't rounded up by Friday will be impounded, auctioned off, or disposed of. Wild and free, leave them be. I cannot imagine how many hearts will be broken if if the federal government is allowed to corral these horses they don't belong to you emotions high as several hundred <laughs> gathered in support of the iconic wild horses grazing just a few feet away they've been here as long as i've been here and i've been in arizona since i was three and i've floated down this river and was in awe over watching these animals and i'm gonna cry <laughs> For horse owner Jalen Marshall, these creatures mean everything. I have a connection, and it's deep. I even told my husband, I said, if you don't take me with my horses, you will not have me. He was passionate about horses. The widow of Eric Marsh, one of the fallen Granite Mountain hotshots, asking that the horses be dedicated to her husband's memory. We would be here today together if he was alive. Save our horses! It's the erosion of American rights and privileges. They didn't even ask what we wanted. They don't care what we want. Greg Hoddy, one of many, ready to make a human wall to keep the horses where they are. What will you do? Whatever it takes. If I have to even put my life on the line for these horses, no question. So the lawyer for the Salt River Horse Management Group says he'll be in court tomorrow. He says there needs to be an environmental study done before these horses can be removed. Meanwhile, a petition on change.org has over 60,000 signatures. Back yeah, a to lot you. of people still not understanding what the problem was in the first place that they need to be moved. Lauren, thank you.